All right, in this video, I'll go over uh, our experience with the AC. Um, so our car mileage is around like 48,000. And we started experiencing this, this issue at around like maybe 45,000 miles. Uh, the AC was blowing out like hot or kind of like fan air, but no cold air. So when we turn it on, it just there's just no cold air coming out. And to resolve that, I'll go over what we did. To begin, I will first uh, check to see if your car is covered under the extended warranty for the AC condenser and the AC compressor. Because it seems that a lot of the Honda Civics are experiencing similar issues with their ACs not working properly. In my case, I have the Honda 2017 Civic and it was covered under both extended warranty. It's basically a 10 year extension from uh, the original date of when you purchased your car. In my case, my car was covered for both. And here's the AC compressor. It, it covers for 2017 to 2022 model. And just to be on the safe side, I would just call the Honda customer service number directly and have them verify for you. Because I think I tried checking online with my VIN number and it says it was not covered. But when I called the number here, the lady was able to verify that my uh, car was covered for both extensions. And also just make sure you have your VIN number available so you can provide that when you contact Honda. So once you find out if your car is covered under those warranties, you can start calling the Honda service centers and bring it in to start fixing and there should not be a fee if it's related to those two parts. In my case, it was related to the condenser so I did not have to pay anything. Um, but do note that if it's not related to those two parts, there will be a charge on the diagnostic fee. And that usually ranges from $250 to $270 or even up to $300. So just make sure, you know, when you call to schedule for that service center appointment, inquire on the fee and just to get a better understanding on whether there will be a charge or not. In my case, I got lucky. The first place I called, there was a fee of $270 for just checking. But of course, if it comes back related to those parts, uh, they won't charge that fee, that diagnostic fee. But if it's not related to it, I will have to pay the diagnostic fee regardless if I bring it in for fixing or not. Uh, but yeah, I got lucky because I called this other Honda service center and the guy was willing to check for me without a fee. So just, you know, doesn't hurt to call and inquire. Uh, maybe you'll get lucky. And if you're really uncertain whether it's related to the compressor and the condenser, you can actually refer to the PDF here for each one. And there is a section for the inspection procedure. And it basically walks you through on how to check it yourself. Uh, for me, it was too technical and I'm not sure if I know how to do it. So I ended up just bringing it in and have them inspect it for me. And like I mentioned earlier, I got lucky and um, it was related to the uh, the AC condenser here. So they were able to replace it for me without any uh, charges. And yeah, so similarly here, there's an inspection procedure for the compressor. And here, just to show you the paperwork I received from Honda, it says there that the AC condenser was leaking and they ended up replacing it for me. And on the next few pages here, just to show you uh, the total amount charged, it was $0. I did not have to pay a single cent and I got the issue resolved. Uh, my AC is finally working. I can feel the cold air again.